Hi YouTube, YouTube land, Jenny Bloggins here. Hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing awesome. Um, so this is what my hair looks like when I have it in a bun all day. Um, so yeah, hold on. My cousin just walked in the door. <laughs> Dancing. Can you turn that off, please? Yeah. Real quick. Thanks, Jason Slayer. He didn't fuck it. He, he didn't. He didn't mess it up. I'm gonna keep going like it never even happened. So, yeah, I've had my hair in a bun all day, and this is what it looks like. It won't go down. This is, it's not going down. Also, there's a meteor shower or a shooting star shower, whatever. Um, it always affects my hair. Your hair is an extension of your nervous system, so the electromagnetic energy kind of just affects all that. Um, so that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about face masks today, like I said in my previous blog. So what's going on here? Um, let's talk about facials first, in general. Facials are like, you. the first thing you got to do is remove the first layer of your skin. It's called the disincrustation process. So what you do in the disincrustation process is get an alkaline solution, which is basically like baking soda, and water or like a glycerin soap or whatever comes in that product line they're over there laughing <laughs> stop making <laughs> me laugh so whatever after that you um you wipe with a toner to get all the residue off now after this part um this is where i do my face mask mask some people do their extraction process at this point whatever it, i think it depends on what you're trying to do with your mask today <laughs> so stupid. today what i'm going to be doing with the face mask is um pulling out impurities so to pull out impurities this is the mask that i concoct right so benonite clay can you guys see it or is it too bright there we go that's better this is the brand i used i've never used this brand before pretty good uh, personally, I like the Aztec clay better, um, and Whole Foods also has one that's like edible grade, um, but whatever. I just tried this one because it went well, this way. I just tried this one because it was on sale, so yeah, and then I have activated charcoal. Sorry, it's reverse, but that's just what it does. Um, activated charcoal. This is what it looks like. Let me open a cap. Let me open it for you so you can see what it looks like. I haven't opened this one yet. So. Like I cannot live. Hold on. Hey, can you open this for me? My nails won't. Let me. Jason Slayer. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> awesome sauce. In. So this is what the capsule looks like. It's black, uh, obviously. And make sure it's activated charcoal. You can't just get like whatever charcoal and stick it on your face. It's not going to work. Please don't try that. This is also good for brushing your teeth and making your own toothpaste, which I'll get into in another blog. And then, um, I've never tried this brand, but this is Des Desert Essence. 100% Australian tea tree oil. Um, I use this for everything. The other day... <laughs> I put it in my son's hair, and everybody at his school, all the teachers in his schools, kept complimenting him on the smell. Everywhere he went that day, everybody was telling him how great he smelled. Um, it also helps your children focus before they go to school, so that's a good thing to have that and frankincense. But whatever. So what I do is mix it. Um, like, I, I mean, you don't need that much benonite clay. Probably like a hand, uh, like a handful of it, and then. I just break a few capsules, mm, probably like 10 into the mixture until it gets like a dark grayish and then I add the tea tree oil in there, like mm, probably like 10 drops, but that's going to be very, very extreme. My skin um, doesn't exfoliate that fast, so I can use extreme things on my face and on my skin. I know everybody can't do that, so just kind of work it for yourself. If you have any questions, just inbox me and I can tell you kind of how to mix it and probably give examples. I am going to do a post about the mixtures and the measurements of a facial and I would include this mask. So this mask will dry out, or not dry out, draw out your impurities. 
And then after, like it literally like brings all the pimples and all the blackheads out. So that way when you extract them, it's easier. Okay, so like they're already out. So you like have one massive pimple or you're all like all your whiteheads around here. I noticed the problem areas for people around here, down here, um, and like right here. Especially girls who have a mustache, get their mustache waxed, like just around the lip area. They always have blackheads. Um, so you, you mix water or apple cider vinegar, whatever, whichever one you want it with the tea tree oil, the bennonite clay and the activated charcoal. Um, you put it on your face with a brush. Um, it's definitely, if you're going to be doing facials on your own, it's definitely worth the investment of going and getting a facial brush. Like, um, you know, and so you can put the mask on your face evenly and it's like super awesome um you let it dry and then you wash it off i like to put honey on my face after that like i get either manuka honey um which you can find at whole foods i don't know where else they sell it at i think i've seen it at publix but i don't know if they have publix in every state um so manuka honey or any type of honey or even olive oil whatever you want to put after that you you um you you rinse off the mask use toner again and then put on whatever uh, moisturizer you want to put like honey or you want to put um olive oil coconut oil jojoba oil whatever mixture you want you put that on your face and you should be good you, know, you could even put i like i really like aloe vera after this mask because it's very intense um so basically that's it uh that's what i do I, you can see that i have like amazing skin um drink water um there's also something called evening primrose that you can take evening primrose is pre-menopausal um saint george saint john's wort is postmenopausal. it helps regulate your hormones so it'll also help regulate um your face because a lot of times the hormones active you know are what kind of cause problems for your face so it's very important so kind of watch what you eat. It's, make, it's important that you sweat so that you can clean out your pores and stuff like that so that it goes together with the whole regimen. It's not just the face mask. It's not just going to fix you and your face. It's not going to fix all that. You have to do other things in conjunction with that. Um, so that's basically what I do for my face mask. That's what I do for me. Um, it's very simple. It's not that hard. I think it's a good investment. Um, I charge anywhere from 100 to 175 dollars for a facial. So if you don't have that kind of money, then it's definitely good in investing. I think I spent uh, like a total of 33 dollars on all those on the bennonite clay, the activated charcoal, and the tea tree oil, and I and I bought a few other things. So it was less than that. Um, yeah, and then you just buy a facial mask either, uh, not a facial mask, but a facial brush at Sally's or whatever beauty supply store that you can get into without a license. Or if you have a license, you, I mean, you might have it already. Um, you could also make body masks like this, which I'll get into. I'm going to do a whole video or maybe just a blog post about, um, essential oils and, the different benefits that different oils have so you guys can get an idea of why you would want the mask for example if i wanted more of a moisturizing mask i would put the bennonite clay together with activated charcoal and like grapeseed oil or coconut oil or almond oil i wouldn't put tea tree oil in it um oregano oil is also a very 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 powerful um antibacterial like it will make your face feel amazing okay like because it has um, minerals in it that actually help your skin I don't I don't want to get into the details of it right now but just a basic breakdown tea tree oil has the same properties as oregano oil it just can't rebuild oregano oil will actually rebuild your whatever minerals you're missing um, so yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, um, just in the comments section, just go ahead and ask me questions or just inbox me. Um, 
and that's about it. Um, subscribe if you want to. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna continue to share. I'm gonna continue to vlog about different subjects. I like I said, I have a lot of things coming up in the near future that I feel like you guys are gonna be very interested in. So just can you guys be quiet? So just like let me know what you guys want to see, what you guys want to know about. I'm more than happy to be sharing with you guys. So. Toodles for now. I appreciate you guys and I love most of you. So have an awesome day. Bye.